How do swimmers make a decision? They flip her coin. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Well, hello and welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. This is day number four of Swimming Week, and today we're going to be drawing swim fins or flippers. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, we're going to start this drawing by drawing two legs. I'm going to make it look like somebody is wearing these flippers. So I make two legs. Then at the bottom of the legs, I want to make curves. This is where they're actually wearing the flippers. All right. So I'm going to start at this top of this curve here and slant out to the left. It's okay if there's a little bit of a curve in that. And then on the right side here, I'm going to draw a short line. This shows that the uh, strap goes around the back of the ankle there, the back of the heel. And then I'm going to start off narrow and get wider with the line here. And out of here at the end, I'm going to make a curve back over like that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other leg, except I'm going the other direction. So I slant a line out here. Then I make a short line for the strap that goes around the back of the heel. And then I start off narrow and I get wider going out like that and then I'm going to make a curve around like that. So here's our two flippers. Now we're going to add just a few more details then we'll be done for this drawing. It's a fairly simple drawing. Okay, right here about where the edge of the foot is there is an opening and this is to allow the, the feet to breathe a little bit. Um, but what it is, you have a line that slants in on both directions and then two uh, horizontal lines. These are actually not just straight across, they actually angle a little bit because of the direction of the flipper. And the same thing will go, it'll happen over here on this side. We're going to about the length of where the foot is, the end of the foot is, then we're going to draw this shape here out on the end. Okay, and then alongside of these two we're going to make a line that, that extends. It starts off up a little bit higher and then it extends past that out towards the end. Do that on both flippers. And then we're going to make one more line right here kind of in the center. And it's going to be a little bit longer at the end than these two are. Okay, just have to clean up a few edges here. And then you can darken after you've got it clean, your drawing cleaned up, you can darken in any lines that need to be darkened. And this is it. This is our drawing for today. Swim fins or flippers. Well, now that we know how to draw flippers, let's take some time and see how we can add them to the big picture. Okay, today I've added more color. Um, I've colored in this little girl in the front, and then I also drew this, her brother, back here in the back. Let's take a closer look at him. Okay, here's a closer look at the brother. He's got the swim fins on, the flippers, that we learned how to draw today, and he's waving. He looks kind of like he's up to something. He's got a water gun behind his back, and so he's getting ready to squirt his sister with the water gun. But this is what our big picture looks like today. Well, now I'd like to take a few moments and look at some swimming photographs from when I was a kid. Okay, in this picture, my brother and I are sitting in a wading pool in the backyard. It was always a fun thing to do is go swimming on a sunny afternoon. And here my brother and myself and my dad are all uh, swimming in a lake. That's a lot of fun, different, different type of place to swim. See that floating dock out there? That was kind of the challenge, was to swim out to that and dive off. And here, myself and my sister and my brother were all swimming in a swimming pool at a motel. And that was a fun thing to do. Is we'd, Sometimes we would go and stay at a motel for a weekend just so we could go swimming, and that was a lot of fun. Um, there are a lot of different places you can swim. It's, it's good if you swim 
in a lake or a, a pool to have make sure not only that you have a responsible adult but you also have a lifeguard that's on duty and if you're in a lake situation especially it's good to have a buddy swimming with you somebody that you can um, take care of each other and, and make sure everything is going okay because lots of things can happen when you're out swimming in a lake but I hope you guys get a chance to go swimming somewhere this summer it can be a lot of fun it's a good way to spend uh, a summer afternoon cooling off well that's all for today thank you for taking time to draw with me I hope you'll come back tomorrow and remember if you want to be a good artist do a little drawing every day summer, 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 summer. Summer, summer, summer time. Oh yeah, that's a keeper.